Hi, my name is Hannah and I am a strings teacher at Family Music Center and I'm here today to do an introduction on how to tune a violin or another string instrument. In this video, I'll be making sure to explain everything pretty thoroughly on even violin basics, um, just in case there's any parents that are helping their kids tune their violin um, and they don't know anything about the violin. So the first thing that you wanna know before you start tuning a violin is probably what it's supposed to sound like. Um, and this is different for some string instruments, but if we're talking about the violin, we have four specific strings, the lowest being G, um, the next one being D, the third one being A, and then the final highest one being E. And you can kind of tell which is which based on how thick the strings are. G is the thickest, and then it gets thinner until E, and E is the thinnest string. When you're tuning the violin or any other string instrument, you do want to be careful that you're not too forceful with it. It is made out of wood, and it can easily break. Um, however, you do need a little bit of force to turn your peg sometimes and push it in. So at the same time, don't be afraid to use a little bit of force when you're turning. Well, when you're tuning a violin, I would highly suggest using a tuner. Um, there's electronic tuners, and I know some people have those. Um, if that's not accessible, there's also apps that you can use, um, which is what I use, and you can get those for free. Um, and usually the standard is to tune it to 440 hertz. Um, that's what I use, and um, I would suggest that. If you're going by 440 hertz, this is what an in-tune violin would sound like. So one thing to take note of before you start tuning a violin is how to do so. Um, we have two ways of doing that. We have the pegs, which are up here, and we have fine tuners, which aren't on every violin, but they are common on student violins. Um, and depending on how out of tune the violin is, you can use one or the other. Fine tuners are kind of what they sound like. They tune very finely um, in very small amounts. So it's good when your strings are only a little out of tune to use your fine tuners. Um, but if your strings are really out of tune, you have to use the pegs most of the time. So the way that we tune things higher or lower is based on the direction we turn either the pegs or the fine tuners. So if you're talking about a fine tuner, um, if you turn it clockwise, it becomes sharper, more sharp, um, which makes it higher. So for example, if I play E, which is out of tune, um, and then I turn it a lot with the fine tuner, it'll sound a little higher. Now in the opposite direction, if you turn it counterclockwise or to the left, um, it'll get flatter or lower. So if it sounds like this now, and then I turn my fine tuner to the left counterclockwise, it'll sound a lot lower when I try it again. So I've got myself an out of tune violin. Um, it doesn't sound very in tune. Um, a different violin completely, and it's it hasn't been touched in a while, so it definitely needs to be tuned. Um, and we're gonna talk about how to do that. So, when you're using the pegs, since this violin is very out of tune, you're probably gonna wanna use them. And when you're doing so, you wanna know which direction to go. So if you're using a tuner app, you'll see usually uh, a letter pop up. And if it says D, when you play the D string, you'll know that it's right, especially if it's in the middle, if there's a little scale. Um, if you have a letter below D, like C sharp, it's a little flat, um, meaning it has to be tuned up a little. Um, or if you have something like D sharp or E, um, that means it's a little too high and you need to tune it lower. Now the same rule applies to the pegs when you turn clockwise versus counterclockwise. So if you turn away from you, which is clockwise, it'll go up or if you turn towards you, which is counterclockwise, it'll go down. And you can hear that if you kind of play around with it. When you're using a tuner, um, you're gonna wanna compare and have probably 
either a note playing out loud, which I know some have the ability to, um, or an easier option would be to have it listen to your violin and pick up the note that it's playing. Um, for example, I don't have a tuner with me, but right now this is not a G, it's definitely lower than a G. Um, so what I would do, and you can do this plucking or bowing, um, especially if you haven't picked up the violin before, plucking might be easier. Um, you can have it listen to your plucking and then turn it until you think it sounds right in either direction. So for example, if it says it's a little too sharp, you're gonna wanna go down. And then if it says you're a little too flat, you're gonna wanna go back up. And then once you get to the point where you think it's in tune, sometimes pegs need to be pushed in a little bit because that's just the way wood works. It kind of doesn't always work with you. Um, and you should have an in tune string once you do that. And this is pretty close to a G. It's not quite there. It's a little bit higher than an actual G. So once I get there, I would probably use the fine tuner to make it exactly right. So for example, this is a little bit too high. So I would turn this counterclockwise to the left until it's in tune. And then you can repeat that for every string. So for example, if I went on to the next string, D, this is pretty in tune. And that's the biggest thing to gauge first is how in tune something is. So if it says it's a D already, you just have to adjust it a little bit. And that's when you would use the fine tuner again. Now this D is almost perfect, um, but you need to turn it a little bit clockwise and make it a little higher until it's just right. So just to make things really clear, I'm gonna actually show you how I use my tuner app. So this is the app I use. It's called Tuner Light and it is free. Um, and it has an option to play a note out loud here. And on the other side, it has the option to listen to a note. So I'm gonna press that and it'll listen to me talking and it'll change based on how high pitch my voice it goes. Um, now, when you're tuning a violin, if it goes this way, um, and you can see it's kind of flickering at the bottom here. If it goes towards this side on the little scale, it means it's flat. And that means it's a little too low and it needs to be higher. Um, on the other end, if it's flashing right over here, it's a little too sharp and it needs to get lower because it's too high. So if I were to tune this violin and I was playing the G string, and it were to say E flat like it does here when I play it, that means it's way too low because E flat is a lot lower than G. So because of that, I would take my violin, I would use the peg because it's really out of tune, and I would turn it clockwise. And now using the tuner, and I'll show you in a minute, you can actually follow how high or low it is. So if it's at E right now, and I turn it clockwise until it says G, and it meets right in the middle about, it'll be in tune when you get there. And you see it kind of changes as it moves. Now, if I were to fully adjust it, right there, and it says it's pretty close once I get there, then I would use my fine tuner and turn that to the right until it gets to the middle. And you would repeat that process for each string. So you have it listen, um, and if it's too low, you turn it to the right, either with your fine tuner or your peg. Um, and if it's too low, you turn it to the left. Yeah. Um, or clockwise versus counterclockwise. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, whichever way you want to think about it. So just to recap, 
when you're tuning a violin or a string instrument, you're gonna be using the pegs or the fine tuners, the pegs if it's really out of tune, or the fine tuners if it's a little out of tune and it needs to be fine tuned. Um, and you'll do this for each string. The easiest way to go about this is by using a tuning app or a tuner, like I talked about and like I showed. And once they're all right in the middle of whichever you use, um, for each string and it says the right note name, meaning G, D, A, and E, um, then you know that your violin is really in tune. Thank you for watching.